Man, if I wanted to talk about this for a while. This is Broly LSSO1 here, and I'm going to be ranting about Sonic Couples. Now, don't get me wrong, I like a lot of them. Don't take the, the video title in the wrong way. I like some of them. I'm just talking about the people who argue over which one makes more sense, and their stupidity and reason and quote-unquote reasoning for why it exists. Well, first of all, let's talk about the character Amy Rose. She, people, shut up, seriously, she does not deserve all the hate, and you might thinking, oh, you're just offending her because you're, you're, you have a crush on her, or something, no, I don't, okay, I'm not stupid, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm that's just gross, don't, um, a human going out with a hedgehog, which, yeah, that, I already hinted at one of the couples that I'm gonna put a description, put it in the description, and, if you like it, I don't understand why you like it. It just, you, ugh. I'm just, sorry if I stutter a bit and stuff, but, you know, it just pisses me off. Anyway, the whole thing about Sonic not loving her is just bullshit, you know? Because those people are clearly the anti son Amy people, and that's how you know. That's how you know you spot the anti son Amy trolls. I call them trolls because... That's all they do, literally. They go to the comments and piss people off, like myself. Because I'm a Son Amy fan. I, I just said it. There you go. I said it in my Akai rant, too. Now, you don't need to go in the comment section and flame me for uh, my opinion, which a lot of people tend to do. It's my opinion, exactly. I just said it. It's my opinion. You don't have to like it. Same thing with Amy. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like her. You don't have to like the fact that she like she loves Sonic. It, here's another thing: the d game developers put those scenes in there, the, for Amy and Sonic, like the whole thing. And you say she's annoying. They put it there for comedic relief. Comedic relief. You get the freaking picture now. You don't have to like it. You don't have to laugh at it. It's there. For laughter, for comedic relief, for children to laugh at it. What game? What are Sonic games? What are Sonic games? What like? I don't know the what's the word. What are they aimed towards? What what audience are they aimed towards? That's what I was trying to say. They're aimed towards children. Sure, it's e for everyone, much like Mario Brothers, but it's meant for children. So yeah, it, and children find that funny. So, uh, well, I'm not saying everybody, every child finds it funny, but still, it's there for comedic relief. You don't have to enjoy it. They're not forcing you to fucking enjoy it. It's there for comedic relief. If you really don't like it, then why bother playing the games or watching those scenes on YouTube? Because seriously, why the hell would you search something like that in the first place? Honestly, um, ser seriously, I, under I honestly don't understand why people have to argue about this, okay? I honestly don't understand this at all. I'm just really frustrated. <clears throat> it, it, I mean, the game developers aren't shoving it in your face like, oh, here's a, another Amy hugging Sonic moment and yelling out his name. You, you have to laugh at it. It's mandatory. It's, it, you have to do it while playing the game. No, they don't do that, do they? They just put it there for enjoyment. You don't have to freaking like it or anything. I mean, at least when you get homework from a teacher, at least it's mandatory and you need to do it. Sure, I hate it. Sure, you might I might not like it, but it needs to be done. But, but you don't need to laugh at it. It's not fucking mandatory. So shut up and stop arguing over this. Okay, I've already spent, like, over four minutes just talking about Amy Rose. Now to talk about the couples. Oh, my God. This is gonna... Oh, it's just gonna go downhill from here, people. And I'm sorry if I'm insulting your opinions. But just, you know, don't flame me for this. This is just my opinion. Oh, my God. You know, the, a couple of years ago, I had an argument with one of my closest friends... Um, he said that Shad Amy was better than Son Amy, and there's much more proof for it. And, 
I complete. I got into an argument with it. So trust me, I've experienced this before. Don't say I'm inexperienced. He he kept saying Shad Amy was better. I kept saying Son Amy was better. Now let me t ask you, Shad Amy fans, this. Just, just, just I want to ask you this. Where is your proof for Shad Amy? Huh? Where's your frickin' proof? I mean, Sonic X is all the proof I need for Sonic Amy. And hell, if there was no proof for it, I probably wouldn't even support the damn couple. Tell truth be told. So, where's your proof for Shad Amy, huh? That one scene in Sonic Adventure 2? Um, hello, are you stupid? She thought it was Sonic, not she, and she... Oh my god, I just can't even, like... Amy thought it was sh sh Sonic, okay? Not Shadow, you frickin' morons. So stop saying, oh, she, she hugged him, and it, Shadow didn't react to it. He didn't, he didn't say, oh, I like that, or anything. He wasn't enjoying it. He didn't say anything. So where's your proof? And don't, and people say that Amy's colorblind. Yeah, just, oh my god, this is pissing me off too, because this is another character cliche. I want to make a whole rant about character cliches, and how they're just bullshit and annoying. One of the most annoying ones is um, Shadow being emo, Rouge being a slut, and Amy being colorblind and annoying fangirl, which is really annoying to hear that all the goddamn time. It's just shut the fuck up. We get the point. You think Rouge is a slut. We get the point. You think Shadow's emo, but do you see him with a knife cutting himself? No, just because he has a dark e demon voice tone like that you think he's emo well that's that's the new voice actor's fault that's because he's the new voice actor is pretty shitty now i prefer um the original shadow voice actor anyway same with um jun kazama from tekken people say he's emo too i've seen people say that just because it's like oh you lose someone close to you and you're like all like depressed and ha oh, you're not gonna be all happy-go-lucky like Jin you don't see Jin Kazama going around like saying hey I'm the most happy guy alive my mother's dead and I'm just fighting to kick people's asses and I'm gonna act all dark and devilish and because you know that guy Jin Kazama has a fucked up backstory I mean his father is a devil his grandfather abuses him his mother's dead and he has like nothing so and Maria was really close to Shadow, like a sister to Shadow. So, and, and now she's, he's mourning the loss of her. And just because of that, he, he, and the way he talks, you think he's emo, which is bullcrap. Just annoys me, but seriously. Anyway, Amy is not colorblind because everybody mis mistoke. Everyone made the mistake of saying Sonic was Shadow, and vice versa, I think. It's been a while since I played Sonic Adventure 2 story mode, so I have to look that up again. But if I messed up, don't go saying, no, you dumb shit, nobody mistakes Shadow for Sonic, and nobody mistakes Sonic for Shadow. They mistake Shadow for Sonic, that's what I meant. And Metal Sonic makes sort of sense, because he looks kind of similar to him, and yeah. And then I had another friend who thought, so Amy was better. Where's your proof for that? You just like it just because oh, Silver's your favorite character and you want to pair them up with with Amy. That's like if my favorite character was Vector, and I, which I'm, uh, he's not really my favorite character. He's a funny char. He's like my, my, like in my opinion, he's the funniest character because find the computer room and all that stuff. Anyway. But he's not my favorite character. But if someone's favorite character was Vector, and then their their favorite female character was Amy, and they just decided to pair them up because oh they feel like it, then that's just bullshit. Okay, really, I oh god. And my, my back to when I was talking about Son Amy and Shad Amy with my friend when we were having that discussion and argument. We almost I almost ended the friendship because of that. Really, and I realized how stupid. And retarded that was to try to think about that. Really, we all have our different opinions. And if you don't like it, well, I got two words for you. Too bad. Yeah. I don't give a shit if you think I'm a dick. I don't care if you like me. Hate me. I don't care if you like my videos. Hate my videos. 
You could despise me. You could hope I go to hell. You could hope I get decapitated. You could hope I get guillotined. I honestly do not care. I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to do what I want, which is to entertain people and entertain my friends on YouTube. Which, by the way, almost all my friends that I have Sonic Couple or, like discussions with, all has to do with... And they all have a YouTube, that's what I mean. So, the point is, shut the fuck up. Stop complaining over something. It's not there to be like... Fan, people who write fan fiction, they put it there, and they put it in the title, too. Like, I made Son Amy stories. You don't have to like it. I put Son Amy in the title so you could get the point. That's not, um, Shad Amy or something. Or, if they don't put it in the title, then people will start having a freaking World War Three in the comment section. And, alright. I want you to really think about this. Sonic Couples. The only real ones that are actually hinted at are Tails and Cosmo and Sonic and Amy. That's the only real ones that are hinted at. And a little bit of Knuckles and Rouge, but, you know, not really a lot of a whole bunch of stuff. Like, T Tails and Cosmo was pretty obvious at the ending of um, the Japanese version of Sonic X, which Sonic X is canon, and what I believe. That's what I believe. You don't have to like it. I mean, yeah. So, anyway, and Sonny Amy was hinted at in um, plenty of episodes throughout the whole series, especially episode 52, where in the French and Japanese version, he actually does confess his love to Amy, which, that's not proof, I don't know what is. Anyway, so, I think this video's gone on long enough, um, this is, um, this is basically it for now, um, I hope you enjoyed hearing me and ran about how Sonic couples and all that good shit and stuff, so, yeah. Um, I will be uploading more videos soon about, like, you know, I'm not gonna go into whole detail, probably, like, I, I'm thinking about making a new Sonic Me story, but I don't know. And I'm gonna upload Sonic and Friends Odd Plush Adventures episode 3 in a couple days. I just have to film it again because I wasn't pleased with the final product. So, anyway, to all those fan brats out there on DeviantArt, YouTube, and everything, stop freaking starting World War Three in the comments just because you think one couple is better than the other. Alright, so, have a great day, everyone, and shut the fuck up, too. And, considering Christmas is coming soon, and probably not gonna upload a new video until then, I don't know, but, considering Christmas is coming soon... Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a great day, everyone.